Alright guys, welcome back to another Steam free-to-play review. Today we have BU, which I think is a visual novel with like multiple endings. Spelling mistakes are not mistakes, they're little easter eggs for you to find. See if you can find them all. Alright, gotta catch them all, let's go. How dare you think I'm bad at typing? I'll be the judge of that! <laughs> I wasn't diagnosed as the most dyslexic person the per doctor I met that is complete skin Today I'm feeling green. Green is so much fun. Okay, I like green. Green's my favorite color. The color of life, a warm spring day, is so calming. Filled with the siren's call of nature. But under the surface, there's so much rot and infected cut. Very po polar? Polar? On polar. On someone's face as big words as they throw up what we think of as the color of poison. Radioactive meltdown. Nearly every Disney villain is enshrined in green when they come when their big number comes. Like Scar, Maleficent, I think, yeah. Contradiction, life and decay. Growth, oh, life and death. Growth and decay. That's why green's so fun. So that's how I'm feeling today. Green. How are you feeling? I like green. We can feel green together. What do you prefer, day, dusk, or midnight? I like dusk, it's pretty. What's your favorite book? Books are for nerds. <laughs> All the cool kids play Vibbo games. Yeah, all cool kids play Vibbo games, bro. I could save the world, find true love, visit lands of unimaginable beauty and wonder, but in the end, it's all just ones and zeros. What gender are you? I'm a male. Male time! Yeah, Lewis is too lazy to draw a boy or girl in character model. Okay, Louise. Louis? Louis? I don't know. Or I'm just making a profound statement about gender doesn't matter, and we're all the same. Mm, okay. <laughs> Super profound. Wait a second. I really should have just said that and not the lazy thing. Lewis remembers to go back. Remember to go back. Oh, he's talking to himself. Be you. You see a young person standing in the bedroom. There's some green, there's some dust, there's a cat that... Oh, look at that cat. <laughs> Today is their 12th birthday. And this will be the most important day of their life. You are wondering about what present your dad will get you this year. Last year you asked for a pet. Uh, uh, I like doggos. I know it's said dog's man's best friends, but my dog ain't listening to the man. You worry about if he ever met you and he fell in with the wrong crowd. Ever tape trapped to a bee? Another mindless sheep in the system. But instead of teaching him how to play catch, you taught him how to catch all the man's confirmist propaganda before it Whoa. What? Instead of going for walkies, you go skateboardies. It was hard to teach a dog to ride a skateboard, but God, was it worth it. This dog may might not be man's best friend, but he's your best bro. How about some cereal to start the day? Ah. Uh. Dream numbing nuts with oh I love radical surprises. This is your favorite cereal, mainly because the surprise is there's absolutely no cereal in it. Foo! <laughs> it turned out the boxes of cereal they used up, used to put a single toy in as a pr surprise, ended up selling so well that they just replaced all the cereal with toys. They're so cool. They're not held back by your trivial ideas of what isn't edible. Truly, some of the great thinkers of our time made this. Okay. Okay. You may be starving, but at least you have a ton of... F oh, are they British? Is that how you spell ton? I don't know. I have new plastic friends to complain about it with. Is that like a... I don't know. Fuck. Ooh. <laughs> Parcel is delivered. Delivered by the mailman. I mean mail person. You're too woke to use outdated terms like mailman. Could easily be a female man. <laughs> Alright. Or would that be a male girl? Male girl sounds probably better. Why does the postal service have so many gender pro sounds? Screw it. It's just a postman and a post lady. It's just like that time dad got sent that parcel. There was so, so much wrapping paper and tape he couldn't open the language young lady <laughs> or young man the young postman young lady so he decided to get a male stripper okay to get the oh 
<laughs> to get the tape stripped off the parcel. At least that was his excuse. I read that. Not the way. <laughs> At last, nobody's coming to your birthday party. I'm sure there's some tragic reason for it, but in truth, Lewis is a lazy... Well, that's not nice. I can't be bothered to draw that many people. Dang it, Lewis. Come on, man. You're chill with nobody being able to make it. They're probably just intimidating by your aura of epicness. I do have a pretty epic aura of epicness. The strange parcel appears to open by itself as if otherworldly ghost hands, ghostly hands were attempting to reveal what's inside. What's in the box? You have a creepy feeling up your spine, a mixture of fear and a confusion. And then your legs start to walk towards the parasail. You didn't tell them to. You flail your arms around in surprise, attempting to grab something that... Oh, crap, I'm getting dragged in. But no! <laughs> but there's nothing you can continue to... You continue to walk forward like a wind-up toy till you're next to the package. You look down into it and only see an abyss. A black abyss. <laughs> and unceremoniously, you begin to tumble forward into that endless precipice. You got some words, my dude. The darkness all around feels suffocating, and then you're here. You don't know what here is, but you're definitely here. I made it. Oh my god, a magical adventure! Oh hell yeah! This is that Alice in Wonderland, never ending story, not any thing. Where a cool kid with cool kid with attitude is whisked off to a fancy world to save the day, slay dragons, and get princesses. You always know knew you were destined to for something greater. It looks like the hero has arrived, mother beep. <laughs> Off in the distance, you hear a noise, a faint whimper. You go over to investigate. Wait, a second, shouldn't you have like a bunch of options and stuff? Let's go, hit me with them options. Forcing the player to investigate the thing with no options or whatever to, whether to do it or not, seems to defeat the purpose of the game. Sorry, I really should have thought that of that. Here are your options. Hmm. Let's go with option number three. Now, out of your own free will, <laughs> Will, you've decided to go and investigate the crying thing. That's kind of cool. God, freedom of choice is so fun. You find a strange, sobbing creature. Uh, let's console it. Oh my god, I'm sorry you're crying. There's probably nothing I can do to help, but I felt like... I know what it feels like to be cold and alone. To know, feel the whole world's out to get you. My words may... She looks like the thing from... What's that one-eyed thing? From Lilo and Stitch? The green alien person? My <laughs> words may sound hollow, but I'm here. And even if I... Oh, that's... There's nothing to do. I, I can do to help. Reading is hard. I'm gonna do my best and try anyway. There you go. See, there's his first error. His error that's not actually an error. Error. After the darkness comes a noise, a strange chirping, like a songbird's got stuck in the church organ. Oh. A strange creature begins to frantically back away, dragging itself across the ground. Oh, it's my cat with its hands. Bottom half usually trailing behind it like the end of a grotesque slug. Uh, scream? You scream, you scream as hard as your little lungs can manage. If you manage to scream loud enough, you might get the attention and leave the per little mud person get alone. This seems a better way than any look on the bright side. The more the creature tears you- Oh, I'm dead? The more you scream and the more of your distraction you'll become, that isn't much of a bright side. A large grotesque body slams into you shortly after darkness consumes you. You float into darkness, there is nothing, not the breeze of your laughter, not the echo of far off laughter, not even the beat of a heart, but then swimming out of the emptiness comes a small flame. You are awake. You appear to be sitting at a table with a small key. Oh, it's my birthday. You hear muffled words. Sorry it took so long for me to make the cake. Someone came around and I was a tad occupied. You must have dozed off while we, you were waiting. You hear these words, but somehow the words feel jumbled and faded. Your mind is rushing with the sheer insanity you just underwent. Was it a dream? If so, that's a massive cop-out. I mean, the worst writing convention the world has ever seen, but what well, was it a dream? Da da da! I guess if Lewis can ever be bothered to make a sequel, you'll find out. 
Suddenly, that faded voice comes back to, into focus. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting, but could you please blow the candle out? You've been staring into the middle distance for like 12 minutes, and I do have company to attend. I thought I was your company, jerk. You look at the glimmering, fa glimmering flame, and if you wonder if anything you've just experienced matters. If in the future you will look back with pride or fear, or have simply forgotten, you breathe in deeply, and a then blowing sound effect. What will you be 20 years into the future? Oh my god. You become the chillest musician to ever live. Yo, yo. Your soft vapor wave inspired beats spread across the world, eventually bringing to an end world conflict. I'm such a good person. People can't bother to fight the music. Oh, to fight because they are too chilled out by your music. Oh man, I'm just like finishing sentences all the wrong ways. You become a pioneering astronaut, legalizing super bass that gets you so high. They can li- oh, that is a vape, isn't it? Oh, I got a vape in my hand, I thought it was a microphone. They can literally transport you out of the Earth's atmosphere into another galaxy. The whole world- the whole in the ozone layer is completely blocked out by the steam cloud, resulting from an entire s civilization- oh, there you go again- vaping at once, putting an end to skin cancer. Eventually you create music so chilled out- chilled it even stops atoms from moving preemptively creating the heat death of the- oh. Flame? Oh, is that the end? Donating to your favorite- Oh, well, that's nice, Lewis. Good job, man. Uh, let's do this again. Wait. <laughs> I forgot there's answer choices. Necronomicon! <laughs> the most- Wait a second, let's- uh. Oh, shit. Okay, reopen. <laughs> I mean, oh, poop. <laughs> okay, we got this part. Let's pick different choices this time, though. I'm feeling... Blackhawk. Blackhawk. Uh, we'll say it's midnight. The Nebuchadnezzar. Is the inability of its human mind to correlate its contents. HP Lovecraft. What gender are you? I am still. Let's do female this time. Yeah, Lewis is too lazy to drop. Oh, same thing. Okay, got it. Oh. Okay, we want a bloodfish. Look at that thing just instantly swimming in circles. Your dad could have got you a cat or a dog. Hey, even no pet would have been better than this, but he got you a fish. Why do you hate fish? I hate fish too, but I just need to know. What the hell are you meant to do with this fish? Nuke the ocean, 2021. Just stare at it. You'd have to be even more mindless than the fish to enjoy that. Endlessly swimming around in circles, never getting anywhere, reminds you a little of you. Would you rather jump out a window than ever admit that? How about some cereal to start the day? All natural, no additives, environmentally free, and locally sourced. This is your favorite cereal. It's shame it doesn't say what it is on the box. Hmm, it's all natural, so it's gotta be good, right? And I hear it's fair trade. It doesn't matter that it tried to eat its own way out of the box and- Oh, and appeared to dissolve your spoon. Get that goodness in me! Because in your heart, you knew it hel know it helps the environment and small business people. And there are poor kids in Africa who'd love to eat this. Admittedly, the cereal would probably love to eat the poor kids in Africa. Oh no. Parcel has arrived! Your enemies always are always whispering in the shadows trying to get you, but you're one step ahead. You always make sure to repeatedly staff at any post delivered to you in case they're... You know, one time I found a bomb, but the person who made it wasn't smart. What well, it was smart. I didn't know which wire to cut because they were made there all red and so closely interwoven. Dad said it was just a red jumper that you had your grain had knitted, but you know the truth. Alas, nobody's coming to your birthday. Not again. Okay, no one's coming to my birthday. Got it. Okay, we're going into the other world. Woo! The darkness all around you feels suffocating and then you're here. You don't know what there is, but you're definitely here. What in the hell? Oh gosh. What the beep 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 beep. Screw you, Lewis. I don't care if your game gets a higher age rating because you're sworn too much. Oh, that's mean. The only question I had, the single thought 
what my whole life was has been leading up to. The culmination of my very mind and soul and the single moment can only be summed up as what the beep. <laughs> Off in the distance, you hear a noise, a faint whisper, whimper. You go to investigate. Wait a second, shouldn't you have like a bunch of options and stuff? Oh no, not the options again. Well, we're going to investigate the crime scene. Alright, we're going to inspect it. Looks like it crawled out of the devil's rectum, half melted, hideous with thing with one large eye, glassy and human eye. Tangled ha matter tangled matted hair. You're just glad the creature doesn't seem to have legs. Yeah, can't chase me if you ain't got legs. If it did, you'd be sure it'd be running at you, blood teeth clenching, eager to taste your blood. After the darkness comes, a strange chirping like a songbird gets stuck in the church organ. Strange oh, it's this thing again. This time we fight! You have got to be joking. Really, it's very, very funny. Please, please, just tell me you're joking. Well, beep. I was just probably going to end up killing myself anyway. So this is, this seems as good a way as any. May as well try to do something good at the same time. You oddly jump at the monster, frantically flailing at it. Reels. Oh my gosh. There it is again. Back confused. There's one good thing to say about fear. There's nothing better for getting adrenaline pumping. Pumping, and there's no better use. He can't write, and I can't read. <laughs> God, it's a problem. Use for adrenaline than trying to beat the cr beep out of a nightmare. You bite and scratch. The monster skin burns as it touches you. What? That's not fair. The more it tries to fight this little insane being that slashed itself, its cell to its face, the more you fight back. To repeat, repentantly, kicking. It in where you imagine its privates would be. It slinks off, leaving you bruised, bridled and bedraggled, but surprisingly alive. You float in the darkness. There's nothing, on, not the breeze of skin, breeze on your skin, not the echo of fall-off laughter, not even a beat of a heart. But then, swimming comes a small flame. Oh, it's my birthday again. Sorry, it took me so long for you to make the cake. Someone came around and I was a tad occupied. You must have dazed while I was doing that. You hear the words, some, but somehow the words feel jumbled and faded. Your mind rushed. Was it a dream? What a crappy commit plot convention, Lewis. Gosh. You wonder if anything. Da, 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 da. You look at the world and around you, and you see a dull, drab place filled with squares and normies. Look at them dabs, though. The anatheum to radical. You start a movement that sweeps across the world, forcing all the normies into re-education camp. But those who resist are the most uncool of all. To get a citizenship license, you now need to be able to do skateboard tricks and sing Eminem's rap God off by heart. <laughs> Something like that. All must wear sunglasses. Those who do not will have them forcibly nailed to their face. Change the national anthem to Snoop Dogg, smoke weed every day. <laughs> you eventually destroy all resistance and chain charge into the White House on the back of a T-Rex. Let's go. Naked apart from, of course, your black sunglasses, electric guitar in hand. Also, the T-Rex's eyes are shooting laser and everything's on fire. This is pretty metal. This game is dedicated... Uh, I think there's three endings to this game. Uh, some of these answer choices don't seem to me matter. Uh, what did I, I picked the clock last time. Let's go. Blue abadi abada. <laughs> Day. For every step to fill. Oh yeah, I've heard that part. That's like the dark, the original Little Mermaid. What gender are you? I'm male because it doesn't matter. Yay cat. You love Mr. Fluffy Whiskers. I mean, his name is technically Jeff, but you all, all always call him Mr. Fluffy Whiskers. You love to hug him and stroke him. Admittedly, Mr. Fluffy Whiskers doesn't feel the same. Come on, man. Judging by the mouse of scratches all over your face and arms, but you love him all the same. One day, he'll accept your love and it will be sweet. How about some cereal to start the day? You really like that cereal, mainly because you enjoy pretending to be a giant and imagine the Pleas of terror from your tiny victims as they're crushed by your mighty jaws. But the gingerbread man genocide will never end. This shall never end! A parcel is delivered, but you can understand why he has so much trouble with it. 
people put so much love and care into wrapping gifts, not to mention how beautiful wrapping paper can be, all the sparkles and hearts, and not to mention when it's wrapped in a cute little bow. I can't bring myself to destroy that, tear it off the present and thoughtlessly throw it in the bin. Wrapping paper is gift, a beautiful gift all on its own. Alas, nobody's coming to your birthday party. Dang it, Lewis. Why, man? Why can't you give me a birthday? Yeah, we're here. I've gone insane! Oh my god, I've gone completely mad! Sorry, I mean differently insane. Differently sane. Didn't want to offend anybody. Never really expected to lose my mind. I thought you needed some simple, some deep mental anguish for that, which I'm truth thankfully lacking. I don't really know what to do. I could try and ask for help, but since I'm hallucinating, I don't know if I'd be uh, asking a person or a doorstep. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Off in the distance, you hear a noise, a faint whimper. You go over to investigate. Wait a second. Shouldn't you have like a bunch of options and stuff? Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Kick it and scream avocados! You kick the strange creature and scream avocados at the top of your lungs. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I didn't know you did- I did that. I didn't know you- I did that. I mean, you were so sad, so doing something like that might be like a surprise. And like, everybody likes surprises, so that might not make you sad. And like, you'll be thinking about me randomly kicking and screaming avocados, instead of thinking about what you were sad about, so it kinda works. Sorry, I'm having a little strange today. I think I might be going in today. I can't read. After the darkness comes a noise, a strange chirping. Chirping! Like a songbird got stuck in the church organ. Oh, it's this dude again. This time we run! Oh, what about that poor creature? Run! No, I will not run. I will run! The air splitting scream tears through your mind. Run. Your legs start moving on your own. You try and stop them, but no matter how you try, hard you try, it's useless. Feels like your body is being controlled by some otherworldly puppeteer. It's me. It's me! It is I! The puppeteer! You vaguely hear stopping in the distance. Suddenly, silence with a heartbreaking scream. You want to help, but you can't stop your legs. You float in the darkness. There's nothing. Not the breeze. There's a candle! Yay! Okay, let's see what our... I became a world-renowned psychologist. Your deep understanding of fear and grief leading to therapies that save countless lives. Your book, your piece of feep, and that's okay, I am too, becomes a world bestseller. Your skills in psychology and therapy are so powerful that the world governments come together to send you back in time to use your therapy powers to, to de-racistify the resistify the Nazis and make Genghis Khan chill the beep out. <laughs> oh, this game is it. I was okay. I'm gonna do it one more time just to see if I can get a different ending than the three I already got. I'm gonna speed run this sucker. I'm feeling pink. What do you prefer? Dusk again. What's your favorite book? I'm a male. Male time. You never got that. You asked for a Komodo dragon, the coolest of animals, but your dad said having that as a pet is illegal. Anyway, they're huge. Imagine the size of that. They're beep. I'm not cleaning that up. But when you're out of this dump, you won't let the man dictate what pets you can ha and cannot have. What does legality mean anyways? Soon you'll have your Komodo dragon and ride him to the president's house and show him... Oh, that's like that one ending. <laughs> uh... Yeah... Oh my god, a magical adventure! Ah, <sighs> clicking like that. Ah! Yeah, okay, that's all the endings. Wait, this is a different ending. What? Go back. Oh well. <laughs> that was a different ending! How many endings are there, I wonder? I know I became a skateboarder and I was super cool, that's all I know. I wonder what choices, uh, if all the choices matter, or if only certain ones matter towards the end. Hmm. 
Alright, let's see. Let us see! Okay, so there's just a few endings, it would seem. I'm pretty satisfied, though. That's a pretty good game. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna include this part as, like, the playthrough of, like, the review. Instead of it being, um... This was, like, recorded live instead of me editing and then putting my voice in. But thanks for watching, as always. Please like and subscribe. Bye!